Endocrine therapies either block the estrogen receptor or deprive tumor from endogenous estrogen. This class of drugs can be used in various lines of therapy as long as the tumor is endocrine sensitive. SIRDs, or selective estrogen receptor degraders, are a type of endocrine therapy that bind to the estrogen receptor to suppress its transcriptional activity and trigger its degradation. The first SIRD was developed 20 years ago and described as a pure estrogen antagonist. It demonstrated efficacy in patients exposed previously to aromatase inhibitors. It is widely used as monotherapy or in combination with targeted agents in pre- or postmenopausal patients with HR-positive HER2-negative metastatic breast cancer. We are starting to see a rise in research for novel oral SIRDs, which has led to the first oral SIRD being approved in 2023, indicated in postmenopausal women and adult men with HR-positive HER2-negative metastatic breast cancer with an ESR1 mutation following progression on first-line standard of care therapy. Fulvestrant has provided benefit to HR-positive HER2-negative metastatic breast patients since it was brought to market, but it is important to review its unique history. An oral formulation was never able to materialize, thus fulvestrant was formulated into an oily depot that needs to be given at a healthcare facility or in a medical office by a healthcare provider. We also learned over the years that fulvestrant had dose-dependent efficacy, thus a new dose was approved around 10 years after the initial approval. While there was research interest in developing fulvestrant in the adjuvant setting, it was seen as impractical to give a monthly injection in that setting for many years. Intramuscular SIRDs are historically used after progression on aromatase inhibitor therapy, whether given as a monotherapy or in combination with other targeted agents. Now that many patients are receiving aromatase inhibitors and CDK4-6 inhibitors in the first line, we noticed reduced efficacy of fulvestrant given in subsequent lines. It's important for patients that we continue to research novel agents that extend the time patients are on endocrine therapy. One of the limitations of the available intramuscular SIRDs is the poor bioavailability that limits optimal dosing and the requirement for monthly injections in a medical office administered by a healthcare professional. Intramuscular SIRDs are the backbone of second-line therapy for HR-positive metastatic breast cancer. However, about 20 to 40% of patients develop an ESR1 mutation to prior aromatase inhibitor therapy that can reduce the efficacy of intramuscular SIRDs. Second-generation oral SIRDs are being developed that have no novel mechanism of action and may address some of the challenges we face with intramuscular SIRDs orally administered SIRDs are being investigated that will potentially overcome exposure limitations of intramuscular SIRDs, provide consistent oral pharmacology, and offer convenient administration. To test this hypothesis, preclinical research was performed and data suggested oral SIRDs may present pure antagonistic properties with continuous ER target inhibition throughout the dosing period, regardless of the ESR1 mutational status, yielding sustained inhibition of ER-dependent gene transcription and cell growth. Oral SIRDs are being studied in a variety of settings in metastatic breast cancer, from patients who are endocrine sensitive to more heavily pretreated endocrine resistant tumors, as well as in combinations. Large research efforts are being undertaken to study oral SIRDs in the adjuvant setting and a few different strategies, whether it's upfront or switch strategy.